Welcome to Ottobiano in northern Italy, 45 kilometers southwest of Milan in Lombardy. After a long break, we're back with a new season, one where Thomas Charrier of TM Racing Factory team is the defending champion. His main rivals this year, the Czech Pavel Kemar of De Gasoline and Motorsport, and in their second year, Phoenix Racing team with the German Marcus Klaas, the Italian Elia Samartan, and the French rider Nicolas Cousin, who have all been on great pre-season form. Today, for the third year in a row, the Ottobiano Motorsport Park plays host to the opening round of the S2 European Supermoto Championship season. Before we jump on board with Thomas Scherrer and Elia Samartin, let's hear their thoughts on the track. We're here in Ottobiano. It's one of my favorite tracks of the year. It's a really beautiful track here in Italy. My favorite section is, as always, the off-road section. Here they have a big off-road section with a lot of options for overtaking. It's a bit sandy and they're really technical sections with lots of waves that we can choose to ride differently. I love it and you can make really big gains in this section. This is one of the most important sections of the Autobiano track. This is one of my favorite tracks. It's really important to break hard at the right moment on this chicane in order to be able to be at the right speed to overtake through this penultimate corner or on the long straight that follows it. And off we go with Thomas Charrer and Elia Samartin doing a track preview. Short straight followed by a sweeping right that almost turns right back on itself before straightening up and heading into a left turn. Another short straight and off into the off-road section over a ski jump and straight in to a banked right. Exit that over a small step up jump and onto a tabletop. Here they head through the next turn, the series of waves at the end of the straight the riders pull a 180, heading back the other way over a small single into a 90 degree bank left and over a small step up before rejoining the asphalt on a right-hander through a double apex. Leaving Charrier's favorite section, they head down the straight on tarmac into another double apex, left this time, taking them right right over a couple of times before turning into a chicane. They then turn into a long right, followed by a long straight, kissing the curb on the right, then left, and then right again. Down the back straight, leading into the final turn, sweeping through the right-hander onto the final straight before starting it all over again. Following a cloudy but dry day in the practice laps, race day dawned cold and wet, really wet. No slicks today as TM factory racing rider Thomas Charrer attempts to defend his title from pole position. He set the fastest lap time yesterday of 1.28.80, just a fraction of a second ahead of the German Marcus Klaas of Phoenix Racing Team, with Milan Sitniansky of TMS Motorsport rounding out the front row. And they're off as Thomas Scherrer starts from pole in round one here in Italy and we are on board with Jolie Filippetti currently sitting fifth as Klaas takes the whole shot ahead of Scherrer. In the second corner Marcus Klaas falls leaving the door wide open for Scherrer who takes the lead ahead of Samartin and Sitniansky in third place. Filippetti remains in fourth as they head into the off-road section for the first time but as they come over the ski jump Kmart overtakes Filippetti and finds himself in fourth. 
Scherer is out on his own, but the fight for second is ramping up with Samartin, Tsitnyansky and Pavel Kemar battling it out to stay behind the Frenchman. And as they tackle the end of the off-road sky section, Klaas is clawing his way back through the field and currently holding 11th place. On to lap three and Scherrer is still leading with a very comfortable one and a half second lead over the rest of the field. The fight for second place continues as Elia Samartin leads Sitniansky and Kmar. We're on board again with Jolie Filippetti lying fifth as this slippery track worsens. And as we go into the straight, Milan Sitniansky goes long and loses his precious third place to Kmar leading Filippetti into fourth. With Sitniansky now behind them, Samartin and Kmar are locked in a battle for second place but Sitnyansky is not going down without a fight. And he goes into fourth place. The TMS tuning a motorsport rider, Milan Sitnyansky, manages to take Gioli Filippetti on the inside as the mud gets thicker. Oh, Diego Monticelli overtakes Hampus Gustafsson to move into 17th place. Back now to the battle for second place and Pavel Kemar is right on the tail of Elia Samartin. And just before the end of lap seven, Kemar manages to streak past his Italian rival. As he heads back into the sky section to chase down Thomas Scherrer, Kemar is in second place. Coming round a right-hander on the off-road section, Nicolas Cousin is in seventh place. On the straight, Filippetti is overtaken by Simon Wilhelmsen of Denmark. And here he is, the man of the race, the defending European champion from France, Thomas Scherrer, heading around the last few corners of his much-loved off-road section and out onto the tarmac. A lonely lap out in front with no one for company, the TM Factory team rider comes up the final straight to the welcome sight of the chequered flag in first place. A look at the results of race one and Thomas Scherrer takes the win ahead of the exciting battle between Pavel Kemar and Elias Samartin. Klaas finished eventually in eighth place. It was crazy eh, because I had yesterday a really bad qualify from seven position. I start from the starting grid and and today is completely different condition. So it's wet, wet race. So I quite like and I start I think five and after I pass, pass, pass until the end of the second position. But Thomas was far away. So I'm happy with the second position. So a great ending for Kmar, who started from the third row, but moved up quickly and with five laps to go, pushed hard and got past Saint-Martin to finish second behind Scherrer. Bright and colourful, customised to reflect personalities and to promote sponsors, they help with rider recognition and to save lives. A rider and his helmet, it's a special relationship. When I put a helmet on for the first time, it was a very special feeling. I still remember it as if it were yesterday. It was a helmet that my dad used to wear. I was a kid and after his race, I waited in the car park for him and put the helmet on and rode my bicycle, pretending to be on a motorbike. Last year I fell and hit my head really hard. The helmet saved my life. It was all cracked, but it did its job. The first time in my life I put on my head the helmets when I was seven years old. So this is 21 or nearly 22 years ago. So it's really long. The first uh, helmet for me was from seven years, now I'm 28. It's a lot of years and uh, I hope that is not my last helmet. Yeah, I'm happy. Miserable start to race two as rain pounded the already slick track. Scherrer takes the whole shot ahead of Nicola Cousin and Giulio Filippetti. Filippetti, we're on board with him as he fights for third place with Saint-Martin and he's now moved in to third place behind Nicola Cousin with the pack still quite closely bunched together in the poor visibility. 
Thomas Scherrer creates a gap as he heads into his favourite section of the track, the off-road, into the banked right and over the small step. Back out on the wet tarmac and Scherrer is still leading with the entire Phoenix racing team chasing him down. Cousin in second, Class has overtaken San Martin and Filippetti to take third and San Martin sits in fourth. Jolie Filippetti of Team Berber Racing is trying to stick to the Team Phoenix racing riders in order to move back into the top three but the conditions are making it tricky. San Martin overtakes his teammate Marcus Class as they take some pretty wet looking corners and into the long straight. Into the sky section once more and oh no, Pavel Kemar is down with Diego Monticello narrowly missing him as he gets up apparently unscathed. Through the wave section and Class has overtaken his teammate San Martin taking back third place. Right behind them is Monticelli as sadly Jolie Filippetti has crashed out and retired. Out on his own in second place is Nicola Cousin trying to avoid any standing water and loss of traction. He heads back into the off-road section where he has to keep his concentration to keep his position in the race. Looking out of place this far down the pack is Pavel Kemar sitting last after his crash earlier in the race but trying to claw back some places as best he can. Thomas Charrier lying first, an impressive performance so far from the Frenchman of the TM Racing Factory team. He's built up a large gap between himself and the rest of the pack. As long as he holds his position, he should easily defend his title from last year, despite the difficult conditions, which don't suit him as he can't push as hard as he can when it's dry. This man is having an amazing race, sitting pretty in the number two spot, just holding his line and keeping focused. Nicolas Cousin of Phoenix Racing Team was seventh in race one, but could be on the podium if he just keeps it up. Coming round the last corner and into the home straight is the Frenchman Thomas Charrier, after a magnificent day's racing in some pretty awful conditions. He wins the race in 2051-61 in the overall classification for the day. I look now at the race two results and Thomas Scherrer of France leads the entire Phoenix racing team of Cousin, Class and Saint Martin to the win. Diego Monticelli of Italy makes up the top five. On the podium now with Nicola Cousin, Elia Saint Martin and Thomas Scherrer who takes his first win of the season but almost certainly not his last. And as it is the first race of the season, the red plate for the championship leader also goes to Thomas Charrier of TM Racing Factory Team. Lovely scenes here from Otto Biano with the spectators braving the elements to cheer on their favourites as we draw the first round to a close. Really pleased with my weekend. Not easy conditions. I don't really love racing in rain, but I had two good starts and I really concentrated and it paid off. I'm really happy and I'm taking the plate home. I'll try to keep it throughout the season like I did last year. I'd like to thank everyone and see you in Busca. A look at the European Championship standings. Thomas Scherrer in the lead with 50 points ahead of Elia Saint Martin with 38. Nicolas Cousin follows with 36. Klaas and Sitniansky make up the top five. Thanks for watching. See you next month in Busca, Italy for the second round of the Supermoto European Championships. I'm Katie Friend. Bye bye.